fundamentally the limiting factors for American support of Ukraine, it's not money, it's munitions. America, and this is true, by the way, of Europe too, we don't make enough munitions to support a war in Eastern Europe, a war in the Middle East, and potentially contingency in East Asia. So the United States is fundamentally limited. And that reality is far more important than American political will or how much money we print and then send to Europe. If the package that's running through the Congress right now, $61 billion of supplemental aid to Ukraine goes through, I have to be honest to you, that is not going to fundamentally change the reality on the battlefield. The amount of munitions that we can send to Ukraine right now is very limited, again, not by American willpower or by American money, but by American manufacturing capacity. I think what's reasonable to accomplish is some negotiated peace. I think Russia has incentive to come to the table right now. I think Ukraine, Europe, and the United States have incentive to come to the table. That is going to happen. Look, the best way to help Ukraine, I think, from a European perspective, is for Europe to become more self-sufficient. Vladimir Putin is, of course, in the geopolitical backyard of Europe. The United States, as it focuses more on East Asia, simply can't be expected to foot a disproportionate share of the burden. Given that reality, I think the Europeans have to take a more aggressive role in their own defense.